It's your boy Enzo KJ300. Y'all know I'm coming. I was looking at the playoff picture. And if the playoff started today, the Thunder and Timberwolves will play against each other. In the first round, a lot of people say the Thunder will beat the Timberwolves. They'll sweep them. It's not happening. It's not happening. If you don't realize, the Thunder is 1-2 against Timberwolves this year. And it's not a fluke. Every game is hard fought. Go down to the last shot. One possession uh, determine the game. And it's like a playoff experience every single time. It's so physical. And everybody's out there trying their hardest. They're trying their hardest every game. And the reason why I say avoid the Timberwolves in the first round is they already they already won and two against Timberwolves. You want to play against the Rockets or Warriors in the Western Conference Finals, you want to have fresh legs. This game will this series will go six to seven uh, games because of two reasons. Well, there's a lot of reasons. My main two reasons: Jim Butler and Carton Towns. But you got Jim Butler, somebody that can end games, something they couldn't do last year. I think they blew all the leads they had. Five points or below in the last uh, five minutes or something last year. He can make clutch shots in games. Andrew Wiggins is a dog. When he come alive, it's over with. They got Jeff T, somebody that can run the, uh, run the offense. And my biggest thing is Carden Town versus Steven Adams. That is the biggest matchup in this series if it happens. Steven Adams, we all know, if you watch the Thunder, their biggest defensive scheme is to let Steven Adams help. When he play against the Rockets and the Warriors, I'm not worried about them two teams, uh, the Thunder playing them. I'm worried about the Timberwolves because... Steven Adams can't help. He can't help our car in town. Car in town can shoot threes. He can shoot mid-range. He's young, and they coming. They coming. I'm going to show y'all a couple clips of Jimmy Butler and car in town. My two biggest reasons why this series will go 67 games because it's a matchup. Steven Adams is good at what he does, but he can't guard car in town. Steven Adams fall down right here. They, I want y'all to think about this every single time I show y'all this. Clint Capella, JaVale McGee. Zaza Batuya, Nene, anybody that's a big man on the uh, other two teams, the Rockets and the Warriors, is this is not happening. That right there is not happening with Clint Capella. They're not giving them the ball and half court making them dribble down the court. And then, like I said, they got Jimmy Butler, somebody that's going to score the ball and is going to help Carlton Towns not get double teamed. If Steven Adams is standing right here. He right here. The only reason why he right there is because Carlton Towns, he has to literally run with Carlton Towns all the way down the floor because he knows he can shoot threes. If that's Clint Capella or somebody else, uh, off the Warriors, it's not happening. He all the way in the paint already. And look at it, wide open. It's wide open every single time. Jimmy Butler is going to give you a presence when it, at the end of games to make clutch shots. Jimmy Butler going to miss this shot. And Steven Adams, what are he doing? Trying to help. He is trying to help. And Carlton Towns is wide open. He's wide open uh, for a putback. Like I said, Jimmy Butler and Carlton Towns is going to make this series go 67 games. If Andrew Wiggins is going off. It's going to be definitely a six to seven uh, series game in the first round, and you don't want that. You don't want that. Jimmy Butler, once again, late in the shot clock. That's something they didn't have last year. Jimmy Butler is a dog. He is a legit dog, and it's going to happen when they play against. It don't matter who they play in the first round. I just want the Thunder to avoid them because I want the Thunder to beat the Rockets, or I mean the Thunder to beat the Warriors, or the Rockets beat the Warriors. Somebody, but you ha you have to have fresh legs, and they on um, the Warriors both like them. Last play. I told y'all. Look at Adams. Look at Adams right now. He's standing right down the block with Taj Gibson helping. He is trying to help. And when you help, look at this. He can't get out that fast enough. And this is exactly what Clint Capella, JaVale McGee, and all the other players not doing. And that's a big reason why the uh, Thunder is 1-2 against them. And then you're going to get this right here. This special right here when they go to game 7. I'm telling y'all this right now. And then you try to double team uh, Quiet Towns. You got Jim Butler on the sideline right there. You got Jim Butler right here. And what that make? What that make? A wide open three. It's going to be a six to seven game series if they play against each other. And so, um, y'all let me know how y'all think about this. But, like I said, avoid the Timberwolves at all costs. Move up, move down. Anything you need to do because this is a perfect matchup for the Timberwolves because of the Steve Adams and Carlton Towns uh, matchup. Adams is going to do his thing. He's going to do his part. He's going to do exactly what he needs to do. But, like I said, he can't help. He can't do all the things he needs. He wants to do in the defensive scheme. And that's what's making the... Um, the Minnesota Timberwolves so, so good at this matchup right here. So y'all let me know what y'all think. It's your boy Ezra, KJ300. Y'all know I'm coming. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and let's get these digits.